Welcome to lesson number three. In this lesson, I am going to talk to you about the hierarchy of what is a lead, what is a contact, an account, deal, and activities. We started with the lead. The lead is really a place that you will have all your new prospects. People that come to, the, to your system and they want to get some kind of a service from you. They have the feeling that they want to work with you, but they still don't know much. From the other side, you don't know them. So the lead system will contain all the wannabes, all the people that want to be your clients, but they just don't know what it takes. Whenever the lead is mature, and usually mature means that you add at least one appointment with the lead or you qualify him that he has enough money, he knows your timeline, he knows your services and he wants to proceed. And proceed does not mean that he wants to buy the services from you. Proceed means that he wants to work with you and now you need to start work on the details create a proposal, get more details from him. So whenever he is mature, and again, mature might be also a meeting, then we are clicking on the button on the top, the convert button, and we are converting this lead into an opportunity or a deal. In this case, I am going to convert the lead into an opportunity. And the system will ask me a few details. What is the amount of the deal? What is the stage? What is the closing date? As you can understand, if we just had our first meeting, I probably don't know how much money he is going to pay me, if he is going to pay me, or whenever this deal is going to get closed. Now, I'm getting this question all the time, which I get it. This is just an assumption because you need to have a placeholder in the system. So let's assume that this deal is going to give me a thousand dollars and I expect it to be closed in about two weeks. So I will click here on the second and I will click on the bottom on convert. OK, so all those are just assumptions. The only thing here that is for sure, it will be the opportunity name that I need to know what is the opportunity name. Usually it will be the client first name or last name or maybe the company name. That's usually the case. And then I will click on convert. When I'm converting the lead, I will get three records out of it. One will be the account name the second will be the contact name, and the third, the opportunity. The account will be the company. The contact will be the person that I am dealing with, and the opportunity will be the deal that we are working on. The account is just a place to hold all the contacts that works at the account. So let's assume that I am dealing with LG. LG will be the account. And inside of LG, I will have under the contacts, which is on the left side, I will have all the people that works at LG. Those will be the people that I am in contact with. If I am going back, I can click on the contact and the contact will be the person that works at LG. And this is the person that I'm usually in contact with. The last thing that I want to show you will be the opportunity. So right now I created a new opportunity for Beyonce. And this opportunity will have here the sales cycle. In my case, the sales cycle starts with qualification, needs analysis, value proposition, and it goes all the way to close one or close lost. And that's the deal cycle. In your organization, you might have different stages. It doesn't matter which stages you have in your organization. The stages need to be followed, which means you cannot jump from qualifi qualifications to close one. 
because for most organizations, each button that you're clicking will have some kind of functionality behind it. Sending an agreement, sending an approval letter, something will happen when you're clicking on those buttons. So you cannot just click around just to test how it works. This is serious. You need to, to understand that something happens when you're clicking on the different buttons. Next, I want to show you the activities. The activities are the things that you are going to do in your company based on the CRM. If I will click on the activities on the top, you can see that I have here three different activities, task, event, and call. The event, by the way, is going to be renamed to a meeting very soon. So you can expect not to see event, you can expect to see meeting. A task will be something that I need to do in a specific day, but not in a specific time. So it's something I supposed to do tomorrow. Paying bills, for example. Paying bills does not require me to do it at 5 p.m. I need to pay payroll tax tomorrow, but not in a specific time. If I will go to the event, the event will be a calendar record. So if I am going to create an event, it will be a meeting that has a start and end time, and it will be on my calendar. So that's an important thing to understand. Whenever you create an event, it's on your calendar. And the last one will be a call. If your phone is not connected to the CRM, I would recommend you not to use calls at all. If your phone system is connected with the CRM, then you like to use the call. The call will have three different stages. It might be a call that you are currently having with someone and the phone system will do it automatically for you. It will register the call in the system. It might be a scheduled call or a call that you already had in the past, which means a completed call. Again, if you are not using an integration with your phone system, do not use this feature because you will not gain anything out of it. Those were the activities. In this lesson, we covered what is a lead, contact, deal, and the activities, and of course the accounts.